several times now, film execs have asked me to delete an action set piece for budget. And I tell them, hey now, a great blockbuster has seven action set pieces. Well, this has happened enough times now that I want to settle this once and for all. Am I actually right? So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to pick the first seven big action movies that pop into my head. All blockbusters, all critically claimed, not controversial choices. Then, we're going to find out how many set pieces there are per movie. Is there a pattern? And for extra credit, do all the action set pieces land in the same spots? Ready? I'm Jonathan Stokes, and this is Raising the Stakes, Essays About Story. Let's get into it. First, what's a set piece? Well, stories are just emotion delivery devices. You choose to watch a comedy because you want to laugh. So comedy set piece is a scene or sequence designed to make you laugh. A rom-com set piece will make you feel romance. A horror set piece will terrify you. Captain, my captain. A drama set piece may make you cry and an action set piece will make you go, heck yeah. So here's my prediction. Working backward, action set pieces will happen at the Act 3 climax, of course, the chase scene at the magic flight, the Act 2 ordeal, of course, the midpoint, of course, fun and games, of course, raising the stakes on the call to adventure, and the cold open, if the movie has one. Lastly, so we're clear, if a fight is only three seconds long, then it's not a set piece. Now, I don't know if my prediction will be right, and I'm open to being proven wrong. So let's find out. The Matrix. Cold open. Call to adventure. Fun and games. Midpoint. Ordeal. Magic flight. Act 3 climax. 7. Terminator 2. Cold open. Ordinary world. Raising the stakes, midpoint, ordeal, magic flight, act three climax, seven. Star Wars, cold open, raising the stakes, fun and games, midpoint, ordeal, magic flight, act three climax, seven. The Dark Knight, cold open, ordinary world, raising the stakes, Midpoint, Ordeal, Magic Flight, Act 3 Climax, 7, Skyfall, Cold Open, Fun and Games, Midpoint, Ordeal, Magic Flight, Act 3 Climax, 6, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Cold Open, Ordinary World, Fun and Games, Midpoint, Ordeal, Magic Flight, Act 3 Climax, 7, Armageddon, Cold Open, Ordinary World, Raising the Stakes, Midpoint, Ordeal, A Second Ordeal? Magic Flight, Act 3 Climax, 8. So here's our tally. I'll admit that seven movies isn't necessarily a representative sample size. I just didn't want to make this a 14-hour video. To prove I didn't cherry-pick these movies, I've actually never seen Armageddon. I had no idea it's so unconventionally structured. As far as Act 1 goes, I can think of plenty of great movies that don't have an action cold open. Die Hard, The Princess Bride, and The Bourne Identity all spring to mind. But these movies still reach seven set pieces and most of these seven set pieces happen at the exact same beats. So can we agree there's a general rule here? More than seven action set pieces and the movie starts to feel noisy and superficial. Less than seven action set pieces and the audience isn't quite getting their money's worth. What about other genres? Well, each genre plays by its own rules. A good musical, like Hamilton, can have way more than seven musical numbers. And a good comedy, like Airplane, can have way more than seven funny sequences. So I think the point is just this. Whatever genre you're writing in, 
Study what you consider to be the best examples of the genre until you learn the rules of thumb. Watch the movies with a stopwatch. Read the scripts or the books with a notepad. Figure out what works and why. And then, if you want to bend the rules or break them, go for it.